Good morning. Uh, let's start this morning with prayer as we doing the book talk today. Father, we thank you. We ask for your favor, Lord, as we read a poetry book on Chan Sang Byung, on Back to Heaven, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, it's the first bilingual book that I'm doing a book talk on, so I'm very, very happy, so I don't have to transliterate on, on spontaneously on the spot. This book was published through Cornell, uh, South, it's a Cornell East Asia series, translated by Anthony, Brother Anthony, Thais, and Kim Young Mu. So it was published 1995. Now, subsequently, after he passed away, 1993, April 28th. Chun Sang Byung is one of those incredible poets that I love, and he's the one who inspired me to become a poet because he was so out there. He was so advanced, and he never followed the typical poet rules of poetry in Korea. He wrote more like a story, and then he called it poem. And when I was reading his poetry, I mean, many, many decades ago, I, I realized, man, I, I can be a poet. If I, I, I could, I, I, I'm a storyteller. So like that, just like I uh, wanted to write songs because I listened to Bob Dylan. I'm thinking, wow, I think I could mimic him. <laughs> so in a way, he gave a lot of hope. Well, he was born in Japan, 1930. And when the Korea became independent, he came back. Uh, 1949, uh, he actually becomes a poet by publishing his poem on river. Um, yeah, well, let me read. River. The reason why the river flows to the sea is not only because I've been weeping all day long, up on the hill. Not only because I've been like a blooming sunflower by longing all night long up on the hill. The reason, very reason I've been weeping like beast in the sorrow up on the hill is not only because the river only flows toward the sea. I know, gosh, translation, all translation of poetry is treason. Because when you read that in Korean, oh, wow, that is so powerful. But when you read it in English, what the heck is he talking about, right? We're basically talking about river being <laughs> river and in a story form. And this is the poem that he wrote, 1949, uh, that catapulted him into fame, become a poet. But by 1971, the dictator part, Jung Hee, and his crew uh, imprisoned him and Oh, boy, um, do cruel things to him for six months. Because what happened is that one of the uh, communist so-called party young people was caught. And in the note, his name was mentioned. Just because of that, KCIA took him to headquarters, the basement, and gave him all kinds of torture. Six months. They said that they put a electricity through his genitals and it made it basically became a cripple. He could not have children rest of his life. I mean, that's the kind of cruelty that dictator Park jung hee did. And wow, I, I talked about Stockholm uh, syndrome of 1973 in Switzerland, how the kidnappers and the victims become one and they now begin to help. It's kind of ridiculous stuff, but well, this was Cornell, the East Asia series, number 77, 1995, translated by, as I told you, Brother Anthony of Thais and Kim Young Moon. Well, Brother Anthony seems to be translated a lot of Korean books, poetry books into English, which is, I'm, I'm so thankful that he did that, and I'm so thankful that Chan Sang Byung's poetry was represented in English at Cornell, except some of the translation is just so horrendous. I mean, 
complete mistranslation. I'm not talking about nuance. You know, nuance, you know, you could debate whether right or wrong. But when he writes about the Lord's Day or Sunday, when he wrote Sunday, Juil, he, I don't know why. The translator, it, it, it's Brother Anthony's fault or Kim Young Moo's fault. He translated as Sabbath. Well, Sabbath is Saturday, dude. You know, so how can you translate Sunday to Sabbath? It's kind of mind-boggling. And for example, on the memories, he writes, 눈 날 사랑은 쌓인다. He said the snowy days, love piles up. But then they translate into drips. Make it, make the whole thing drips. It's just like totally misinformed. That's not what he's talking about. Let me read the memories. Memories, how beautiful rejoiners of the youthful love. Where shall we go? Nowhere special. Why? How beautiful the rejoiners of the youthful love. I love you. I hate you, no matter what you say. On snowy days of love piles up. On rainy days, time flows. What is he talking about? It's a conversation between the one he loved and he will constantly make Wow, you know, I love you. And the other person, I hate you. Even if I die, <laughs> I hate you no matter what you say, right? Uh, actually, in, even that, it's not really. He said, I hate you, 그래도 난 죽어도 싫어요, which means I hate you until, even if I die, until my, over my dead body, I hate you. So the memories of his love confession not being heard. The snowy days, love piles up, becomes beautiful. But on rainy days, time flows with his tears and he's letting it out. But he called it snow days, love drips. Ah, oh, please, no. Um, and he wrote poems unlike other poets, like a storytelling. Now I'm going to read the whole thing to you. It's a long poem. And you wonder as you hear like, what? That's a poetry? See, that was the same reaction I had, and it gave me so much courage to be a poet. You know, because I actually took a course at Berkeley on poetry writing, and they teach you rules and regulations, and this is how English poetry, and this is what, the difference between prose and essays, and poetry should have this kind of element, poetry should rhyme, and all that kind of, eh, well, I did it, I wrote some poem, and I, I, got good, I got A in my poetry class. But then after that, I refused to write poetry in English. Like too many regulations and rules. And, and then I met this guy. Wow. Title is called Little Child. In the early hours before sunrise, taking the wings of the pale gray dawn, I set up for Sajik Park. There's a park near him, gnawing dejection as I went. Down an almost deserted street, a little girl, only three or four, was standing crying outside one's house front gate dressed in her night clothes nightgown pj pajama she was sobbing dreadfully sobbing dreadfully i wonder why why is this little child crying here outside this big house front door complete with guard dog pressing the gate with her glass like hand perhaps she's being punished for wetting her bed all the time looking back i cannot ignore her little girl why are you crying? Because you just learned something about life? Because something sad has happened? You've experienced how very much painful things hurt? Yet this fellow here, aimlessly wandering up the hill in the dawn, isn't crying. Little girl, you've got a mother whose hand's soon going to open that gate for sure. This fellow here has no door for any such love to open. Don't cry, little child. After all, look at me. I'm not crying. Well, I wish he was a little more consistent. And, uh, you know, it was little girl, little girl, little girl, and then little child. I don't know why that happened. But, I mean, you, you get the drip, right? So, does it sound like <laughs> a poem? No, it sounds like a story, right? What about this one? It's called music. What kind of music is this? A quiet whisper close behind my pillow in the early hours. I think the composer of this tune that I used to listen to with tears, loved one girl whose whole life long, it may be that her name was Clara. Wasn't she his teacher's wife? One century, two century of time had 
roll by and yet it looks as though his love's still not over. Early this morning, it's come to the heart of this messed up wreck living in a distant land and weeps. So actually, this is uh, Soren Kierkegaard's poetry. <laughs> you know, I identify this. Like, wow, that's Kierkegaard poetry. It talks about the composer's uh, student fell in love with the composer's wife. But as a student, he never expressed that. And, and until he died, he just wrote a beautiful song for her. Right. And when he reaches him, that this messed up guy says, now I'm still in tears. Now, this is Back to Heaven, the cover poem, Back to Heaven, is I and This I need to read in Korean, although you may not understand. Kwi-chan. 나 하늘로 돌아가리라. 새벽 빛와 닿으면 쓰러지는 이슬 더불어 손에 손을 잡고 나 하늘로 돌아가리라. 노을빛 함께 단둘이서 기석에서 놀다가 구름 손짓하면은 나 하늘로 돌아가리라 아름다운 이 세상 소풍 끝내는 날 가서 아름다웠다고 말하리라. Wow, and this is Brother Anthony's and Kim Young Moo's translation. Back to heaven. I'll go back to heaven again, hand in hand with the dew that melts at touch of the dawn, dawning day. I'll go back to heaven again with the dusk together just we two at sign from a cloud after playing on the slopes. I'll go back to heaven again at the end of my outing to this beautiful world. I'll go back and say it was beautiful. It's good. Oh, but it could be so much better. So this is so much better version. I changed a lot of the words. Back to heaven. I'll go back to heaven. Hand in hand with the dew. Melting at the touch of the dawning light. I'll go back to heaven with the dust together, just two of us. As cloud waves at us, playing on slopes. I'll go back to heaven at the end of my picnic to this beautiful world. I'll go back and say it was lovely. I feel like crying. <laughs> Boy. And it talks about his poverty. It talks about how God answered his prayer and how happy he is and regardless and how, wow, this is awesome. I'll end with this, happiness. I am the happiest man in the world. Since my wife runs a cafe, I have no need to worry about making ends meet. And I went to university, so there's nothing lacking in my education. And because I'm a poet, my desire for fame is satisfying. I have a pretty wife too, so I don't think about women. And we have no children, no need to worry about the future. We have a house as well. I'm really very comfortable. I'm fond of makgeolli, a Korean drink. My wife always buys it for me. So what have I got to complain of? Besides, I'm firm, I, I firmly believe in God. And since the mightiest person in the whole world, wide world, is looking after my interests, how can anyone say misfortune's coming? <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Until you go back to heaven, you could live a whole life and you have someone to tell. It's been a lovely journey, Lord. Let it be your case in Jesus' name. Amen. See you tomorrow.